The Shan people are the largest ethnic group in Shan state and the second largest in Myanmar. They were one of several ethnic groups consulted by Aung San during negotiations leading up to the Penglong Agreement, which gave the Shan leaders the option to split from Myanmar a decade after independence if they were unsatisfied with the central government. This was, however, not honored by the post-independence government following Aung San's assassination. During the Tat Mata's heavy militarization of the state in the late 1940s and early 1950s, locals accused them of mistreating, torturing, robbing, raping, unlawfully arresting and massacring villagers. As a result, on May 21, 1958, an armed resistance movement, led by Saunoy and Sayana, was started in Shan State. The movement became known as the Noom Sukharn, literally brave young warriors. A splinter group broke away from the Noom Sukharn and, together with the Shan National United Front, SNUF, established the Shan State Independence Army, SSIA, in 1960. The group eventually grew into a strong fighting force, the Shan State Army, formed in 1964 with Saunong Hern Kam, Mahadevi of Yanwe, as chairman. In 1971, its political wing, the Shan State Progress Party, SSPP, was formed. The Shan State Army, SSA, came into conflict with the Communist Party of Burma, CPB, insurgents, which had long been active along the border with China. The Burma Army began the Kakuyi, KKY, policy to employ ethnic forces to combat the communists, and in return, they would be permitted to engage in cross-border trade. This led to many units of the SSA defecting to the KKY militias. The SSA were also associated with opium warlords such as Lo Xinghan and Kunsa. Internal divisions resulted in the SSA fracturing into many factions, and it collapsed in mid-1976. In 1971, a northern, pro-communist faction was formed, known as Shan State Army, North, SSAN, which continued the insurgency. In the 1960s, Kunsa, a KKY militia leader, was permitted by the Burmese government to grow and trade opium in return for fighting Shan and communist insurgents. He gradually became one of the most powerful insurgent leaders in Shan state. Kunsa was captured by the Tat Mata after plotting with the SSA in 1969, but was later released to Thailand, where he built an army near the Burmese border and became the dominant opium warlord in the Golden Triangle. After being expelled by the Thai army in 1982, Kunsa returned to Burma and formed the Mung Thai Army, MTA, in 1985. In the 1990s, the MTA became the dominant Shan fighting force with peak strength of 20,000 soldiers. In 1991, Kunsa declared the creation of an independent Shan state, with himself as president. However, some Shan nationalists in the MTA disagreed with his leadership and formed a rival Shan organization, the Shan State National Army, SSNA. The Mung Thai Army was quickly disbanded after the mass desertion, and Kunsa himself surrendered to the government in. The SSNA surrendered to the government in 2005, and a splinter group left and formed the Shan State Army, South, SSAS, in Loi Thailing. It became one of the largest Shan insurgent groups in Myanmar, and currently has around 6,000 to 8,000 soldiers. The SSAS was led by Yad Sirk until his resignation on February 2, 2014. Its political wing is the Restoration Council of Shan State. The SSAS maintains bases along the Myanmar-Thailand border, and signed a ceasefire agreement with the government on December 2, 2011. In northern Shan State, the Communist Party of Burma that had fought a decades-long conflict continued to fight against the government until 1989, when a group of CPB mutineers raided the party headquarters in Pengsong, forcing their leaders to flee to China. Ethnic Hua CPB cadres under Bao Yushang formed the United Hua State Army and presently control the de facto autonomous Hua State. A splinter group led by Ceylon broke away and formed the National Democratic Alliance Army, which controls the Hmong Law Area, Special Region 4. The Shan State Army, North, SSAN, fought the government from its founding in 1971 until the fall of the CPB in 1989, when it signed a ceasefire agreement with the Burmese government. It was granted autonomy by the government for the areas under its control, later designated the Special Region 3 of the Shan State. The Tat Mata launched a military offensive named Operation Perseverance, against insurgents in Shan State in 2011. During the offensive, the Tat Mata captured territory from the National Democratic Alliance Army, NDAA, and the Shan State Army, North, SSAN, 
with the latter being involved in most of the fighting. While this operation was officially a response to the group's rejections of the Hontas One Nation, One Army policy, researchers have linked it to the military's interests in the jade trade. In October 2015, the Tatmadaw launched a military offensive to seize territory granted to the SSAN under a previous ceasefire. The Tatmadaw used heavy artillery and airstrikes, displacing thousands of civilians. Other ethnic armed groups in the region include the Lahu Democratic Union, the Tang National Liberation Army, the Wa National Army, and the Pa'o National Liberation Army, of varying sizes and affiliations.